All right, so here is our cat. Um, we're going to start with the abdominal muscles. Um, the very top layer is the external oblique, which kind of points down towards the pelvis. Then the internal oblique runs per perpendicular to that, pointing this way. So you can see that one pointing up. Then underneath the internal oblique is a transversus, um, which again points towards the the pelvis. And then running down the midline of the belly we have uh, the rectus abdominis which runs up and down. Okay, um, so we also have uh, rectus abdominis. Um, the intercostals are basically the ones surrounding the ribs. Um, they're the ones that help control uh, rib expansion and stuff. So if you see anything going around the ribs those would be them. The inner, internal intercostals are the ones uh, just deep to those. Okay, now moving up to the chest, we have the pectoralis major, which we reflected. It's that big flap of skin. The pectoralis minor is right there as well. Um, we have the sternohyoid, which is a, a main band coming up into the sternum. You know what, it's that one right there. This one? Yeah, it's one of those two neck muscles right here. Oh. Okay. All right, so that is a sternohyoid. Hyoid. Hyoid is middle, so sternohyoid is middle. And then just lateral to that, um, which you can kind of see as a sternothyroid. Mm -hmm. So it's that one. Okay, so it's thyroid's off to the side, and hyoid is in the middle. Um, and then right above that, we have the geniohyoid, which is right there. And then running perpendicular to those, we have the um, mylohyoid. Yeah, mylohyoid, which runs perpendicular. And then the V-shaped paired uh, jaw muscles right there is a digastric. Um, on the cheeks, we have the, the masseter, which helps uh, shut the jaw. And then also by the ears, we have the temporalis muscle, which also yeah. helps. Yeah. So cheek and top of the head, you'll know, is uh, the masseter and the temporalis. Okay, so let's do the back, and then we'll do the arms. Okay, so temporalis is up here. Clavotrapezius will, will be the very first kind of superficial neck muscle. Um, and we actually reflected it if you want to pull the flap up. So it's that guy right there. Then underneath there you can kind of see the rhomboideus capitis, which is the, one of the main parts. But you can see where it inserts into the, the superior spine of the scapula. So that's the rest of the rhomboideus is there. Okay, um, and then we have the acromiotrapezius, which is behind the acromio or clavotrapezius. So we're basically yeah. looking, yeah, it's it's it originates at the scap at the spine and kind of goes downwards. Yeah. Um, so that's that. And then posterior to that, we have uh, the spinotrapezius. So you can kind of, it's really faint here, but you can see the outline. So it, it basically originates right there at the edge of the lumbodorsal fascia and kind of goes up on a V-shape from there. Uh, the latissimus dorsi is basically just a big flap of muscle um, that inserts into the humerus from the back. Okay, let's do the arm and this shoulder part right here. So First off, we have the clavotrapezius, which is right here. You can actually see it up there, too. Um, clavotrapezius. Um, the, trape the clavicle is barely noticeable, if it's even there at all. So clavotrapezius, and then we have the levator scapula ventralis, which is that little, yeah, it's that little bump right there. Um, and then just rear to that we have the acromiotrapezius which is basically all yeah 
No, that's a spinodeltoid. Oh, oh, up here. Yep, up yep. here. Chromiotrapezius is basically all the, the part above the scapula. And then we have the spinodeltoid, which is this one. Which is kind of a landmark feature. It's that kind of a triangle shape. Um, and then we have the uh, chromiodeltoid, um, which is that one right there, chromiodeltoid. And then running down the front, again, is a clavobrachialis, which is right there. Um, we have the, let's do the triceps and all that on the other side. All right, so an, underneath the, acrom, or the clavobrachialis, we have the biceps brachii, which is right there. Um, the long head of the um, triceps is right there. The medial head is kind of buried in there. Yeah, you can see it right there. The medial head, the long head, and then the lateral head of the triceps is that one right there. Um, we also have the teres major, which we can see um, it's kind of the meaty part of the scapula right there. And then on the other side is a serratus ventralis, which is that whole big fan shape, and that's kind of also a landmark feature because it has little pinnet in individual strands. Um, subscapularis is basically the layer of muscle just deep to the pectoralis major. And we cut it, but that's the one, and it actually inserts right here into, into this one. Yep. So that is a subscapularis, and that's directly underneath the pectoralis major. Uh, the sternomastoid is kind of the, the strong neck muscle that's kind of paired. Um, so, yeah, it's that guy right there. So sternomastoid originates at the sternum, goes all the way up to the mastoid process of the, of the neck. Uh, can you think of anything else? Um, the, oh, the subscapularis is, is the one on the subscapular part. The suprascapularis, if that's what it's called. Is that what it's called? Supraspinatus. All right, so supraspinatus is supra, which means above, on the scapular spine. Uh, infraspinatus is the one on the lower part of the scapula. Um, we did the rhomboideus, uh, serratus ventralis. So I think we got pretty much everything. Um, anything else you can think of? Mm, I think we got most of it. I think we got it too. Yeah. Okay, and that's the cat.